So uh, talk about podcasting and your show and what you t- what you do on your show. Yeah, so uh, so podcasting. Uh, I mean, I don't need to tell you how important podcasting is, but uh, um, it's become another one of those ways that we as marketers can reach out to our audience. Um, the big advantage of it is, of course, that we are able to tap into Apple's audience, which is millions of people around the world, uh, and get our we can have our content up on screen on exactly the same level as uh, as any of the other people who are on there. So, you know, if um, if uh, Donald Trump has a podcast and we have a podcast, then we are on the same platform. And therefore, in the buyer's mind, we are just as much of a, an expert and a celebrity as uh, Donald Trump. You know, and that that's the point. It's, it's like having your own TV show. So it, it makes you into someone in a special position compared to the rest of your market. Uh, And I'm telling all of my clients to do it, and I'm eating my own dog food, and I've got my own um, podcast up there as well, because otherwise I wouldn't be uh, walking the talk. Um, So the the first four interviews in the the podcast there, uh, and they're available as video and audio versions, are marketers who helped me on my journey. I I realized back in 2013, that I'd earned my millionth dollar in business. And I also realized that the stuff that had got me to be a six-figure business had also been, was also the stuff that uh, had kept me at, seven, at six figures. And that if I was going to get the business to the next level, then I needed to model what, the, what people who already had seven-figure businesses were doing. And so I went back to my own uh, mentors. And instead of asking them about you know, what do you teach your clients to do, I asked them, so what did you do to grow your business? Um, What would you do if you lost everything tomorrow and had to start from scratch? And so each of those uh, interviews is anything from 30 30 minutes to an hour of them telling me exactly what they did to earn their first million um, and what they would do tomorrow if they had to earn a million from zero. Excellent. So um, you're saying a couple of things here, Rob. Um, Mm -hmm. One... You know, you, you put yourself in front of this massive audience, and if you have valuable content, they're going to find you. Yeah. Uh, you count you right. But number two, just like in the early days uh, of the Internet, just by having a presence <laughs> early, you, yeah. you're putting yourself in the company of, you know, Mad Money with Jim Cramer, the Wall Street Journal. These are similar exactly. uh, podcasts. So you are, you are increasing... Um, you're your credibility. Increasing your reputation, you're, you're building the trust of your uh, prospective clients, um, just like uh, by be, becoming an author. Um, yep. it's, it's in that same vein. Yeah. Um, yeah. And every industry has got something. There are podcasts springing up in every industry. I've seen plumbers who've got podcasts now. Uh, because they've realized, wow, if I, if, by getting my podcast up there, I'll be the only plumber with a podcast. Um, right. it, and, uh, there are realtors and lawyers and doctors and all kinds of fields as well. And and, and that makes them, makes them the, the expert. ability to charge more money than the other plumbers in in their region. Yeah. And uh, that's that's what it's all about. It's it's making more money in less time by putting yourself where people are going to find you, and at the same time positioning your positioning yourself, your business, yeah. your product, your service as the expert, as the the, the best one, and if you're where other people aren't, and you can show that to your, your client, you're going to command more money. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess that's what it all boils down to. Yeah, um, I, I, use a, I use a term called the, which I call the natural expert. I, it's uh, The first couple of books that I wrote were all about the natural expert. The natural expert comes into premium as well, and it's the person, in, the person that everybody wants to do business with, whatever it takes and whatever it costs. Mm-hmm.